Hey friends, it's Natalia and welcome back to She Makes 31. I have like a super exciting video for you today. I made over my bathroom. I'm gonna show you step by step how we transform our bathroom. We do rent, so this is renter friendly. And if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned till the very end and you will see how everything turned out. We absolutely love it. So our first step was to prepare the walls for painting. Painting is one of the easiest and cheapest ways to transform the look of any room. So we went ahead and did that. I'm removing all of the hardware and patching up all of the screw holes or nail holes by using some spackle. And I love this dry deck spackle. It goes on pink and it turns white once it's dry, which is really helpful because I have used other spackle before and I've sanded it way too early. So this lets me know for sure that it's dry. Now my husband here is helping me carry the stuff out of the bathroom. In this video, I was very, very pregnant with my little baby Caleb. He is now one month old, but I just now got a chance to upload this. But yeah, I'm taking everything off the vanity and off the shelves, everything out. Now, if you have Instagram, I would love for you to follow me there. My handle's at SheMakes31. I love to post like updates there and pictures of my family and stories. So check it out and follow me there. And here my little guy Noah wanted to help us out by vacuuming the floor. He is so cute, guys. So next we were taping off the wall. We just used some blue tape from the Dollar Tree, nothing too fancy. It gets the job done and so it makes it a lot easier to paint like this. Then we used a sanding block to sand off the holes that we patched to make them nice and smooth for painting. And the last step before we put the paint on the walls was to wipe them down. We used a microfiber cloth and some water. That way we remove any kind of dust or any dirt or anything like that that's on the walls so that the paint goes on very smooth and evenly. Next we used a one and a half inch angled paintbrush to cut in the corners and all the edges. The paint color that I use is called Sea Salt and it's a Sherwin-Williams color but we got the paint at Home Depot. They can color match most competitors paint swatches or you can bring in the actual swatch from the store and they can color match it for you that way. But I feel like I can save so much more money instead of buying the really fancy expensive paint. I bought the Glidden paint which is a lot less money and basically you get the same color and it's durable paint so I wasn't worried about that 
and again it's a rental so I didn't want to put too much money into it but yeah we love this color it's super neutral and it's amazing If you are liking this video make sure you give me a big old thumbs up and say hi to me in the comments let me know what you are thinking or have in mind for your own bathroom looking back on this video i'm just remembering how i was nesting so bad and wanted to get this bathroom done before our home birth I knew that I was most likely going to do some of my laboring in the bathroom so I wanted to make sure that it was just a place that I can feel relaxed and just love because I was hating how it looked before and so yeah it ended up being awesome and I will be sharing that video of our home birth so make sure that you're subscribed and you turn that notification bell on so that you will know once we post it. Now the paint that I got is a paint and primer in one. I ended up using two coats of paint. The first coat that I put in, I put in kind of in a V motion or W motion. And then the second coat that I did is more of like an up and down motion when I was painting. I used an eggshell finish because that's what I like, but it's recommended that for bathrooms you use an eggshell or preferably a satin or even a semi-gloss finish for your paint. So after the second coat, I let it dry and then I removed the blue painter's tape and it came out so beautiful. It just looks so much bigger in here now and nice and airy. Totally love it. So I got these shower hooks at Home Goods for only $5.99. This shower curtain liner at the Dollar Tree. And I got this shower curtain for only $10 at Target. It was on clearance. One of the ways that you can also change the look of your bathroom is by changing out your shower curtain. And I just love this one. It gives me a nice neutral kind of farmhousey look. So I love it. Now I will say that I didn't love the Dollar Tree shower curtain liner. I mean, I got the job done but it was really flimsy and really thin, so I won't buy that next time. These drywall anchors from Home Depot are awesome. And so here I'm gonna hang up my towels with this kind of like a rack that I got, and I got this at Kohl's. It was originally like a green color, and I spray painted it to be like a dark bronze, aged bronze color, and I love it. Again, giving you that farmhousey look. I'm going to put some towels in there in the basket and then on the hooks I'm going to hang our towels.
So we made these wooden farmhouse shelves and we love them. The next video that I'm going to post is a tutorial on how we made them. So we also painted the cover for this fan in our bathroom. It gets really dusty and I think with time it just kind of yellowed so that was another quick little transformation. Next we are cleaning. I'm cleaning up everything. I cleaned beforehand but it got all dirty all over again so I would recommend that you clean at the end not at the beginning. <laughs> So I got these washcloths at Ross, they were only $5.99 and they are not only useful but they add to the decor. And you gotta love the Target Bullseye Playground, I got this little basket here for only $5. I got these two bath rugs. It came as a set and they were only 10 bucks guys at Ross. If you haven't got to Ross for like home decor and home goods, definitely check them out. So these mats don't come with a rubber backing. So I got the rug underlays from the Dollar Tree. You can trim them to adjust to whatever rug size you're using. And for a buck, you just can't beat it. I really love this basket because it gives me two storage options like one to hang my towels and one to roll them up so extra towels go in here so if our towels dirty and we're in the shower and we need a clean towel it's right there and it's so handy So if you are a girl of the 90s, you know what this is. It's a caboodles. I got one of these at Home Goods. It was only 10 bucks. And so I decided to put all of my makeup in there. I condensed a lot of it and put it in there and it just brought me back so many memories because it smells like sweet, like that plastic caboodle smell. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, this is a great option to put all of your makeup in. And here's the after guys finally done and I am so in love with this
Let me know what you guys think. I hope that this inspired you and motivated you to get your bathroom decorated and redone. This is all renter friendly. All I have to do is paint the walls back and put the hardware back on for the towel and that's it. This was all done on a very low budget and the transformation I feel like is so big. What a difference. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to be part of my little YouTube family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.